it is time for a review. Today we are going to be reviewing the Big Ass Drink Holder from Ciro 3D. Of course, as everything Zero does, it's packaged, professionally packaged well. But the cool thing is, is on the back side, it actually gives you a list of the places on your bike that you could potentially mount this thing. And these are just possibilities. These are suggestions. You can put it anywhere else that you can make it work. The suggestions they give are the mirror mount, the bar mount, perch mount, so the perch would be like the control, or passenger mount left or right. Today, I'm going to install this on my 2019 Indian Dark Horse and uh, we'll see where it fits best, but first let's get it unpackaged. Now the nice thing about this is, is it's supposed to hold larger cups, and I'll get some cups out today and we'll see what it will and won't hold, but the problem I always have is I like to carry insulated cups. Uh, whatever the brand may be, a nice thick insulated cup is great, it keeps the water cool or the drink hot, whatever you need depending on the temperatures you're riding through. But those insulated cups are often too big for those smaller cup holders, and uh, Zero 3D has the answer here with this one, I believe. Okay, so mine, mine actually got shipped with the perch mount. On there it shows you this one has the perch mount. So I guess it'll be going on my perch. That is big, that's wide, it's long, it's deep. It should work well, there's gotta be some more in here. And there is the actual perch mount. All right, two things I can tell you right away about this drink holder. One, um, I love the silicone rubber uh, material. It's going to hold up well to the weather. It's going to hold its shape. It's not going to get dented, dinged, or beat up. This thing will last. You can tell it's thick and it's strong. I love the slotted look of it. It's very tactical. Um, it'll go good with my type of motorcycles that I like to run. The construction overall looks great. And the mounting is simple. So this mounting kit here they gave me actually will go on the perch. Let me get this bad boy open. So what this will do is this will actually replace the bolts on your controls. You'll put this on there, it'll connect into your cup holder like this and then you can adjust your cup holder around using this ball mount. It's a pretty slick mounting system, pretty fail proof. Um, I do definitely dig the mounting system, although I'm not sure I want this on my perch. I think I might want it lower on my crash bars. Let's take a look at where it looks best on the bike. Okay, sitting on my Indian Dark Horse, You'll see I have the perch mount for my Zero 3D powered phone mount here. This powered phone mount is nice because it actually runs power so I can actually charge my phone right there without having to dig into here to plug up the phone having cords draped across. I can actually plug my phone in right on the bottom. But this is what a perch mount is. It just replaces these two bolts right here and actually mounts up on that, that swivel mount so now you can adjust it whichever, whichever way you feel necessary. So potentially it could be perch mounted right here, but I think that's a little cumbersome for me. A little bit big for what I would want up front. Although it does, it would probably fit okay, and it wouldn't really obstruct much if I put it on the higher end of that mount. But I think where I'm gonna to wanna to go on my bike is going to be down here. I think this is just a better scenario for it. I think it fits better, gives me a better look. But for that, I'm gonna to have to pull one of my mounts off of one of my other rigs. Luckily, I have the zero mount ball mount system on several different things, one of which is my side-by-side. -side. So I'm gonna yank the ball mount off of that real quick, see if we can't use it here. Okay, so they have a few different mounts you can use. Some that go on bars, some that go on perches like the one I just showed you. But the good news is you can switch between the mounts and the devices. So like my phone holder uses the same device. I could put this where my phone holder is and vice versa. You can switch it around. It's a universal system and it'll work on absolutely any motorcycle. So this one that I've got here is basically the bar mount system and it's the one I'm going to use today. I had to wash it up a little bit because it was a little dirty because I use it all the time on that side by side but I'll have to order myself another one. So it's got these little uh, squares and basically you use these to adjust to whatever size bar you want. It'll fit any size bar uh, you want. It actually says on them like what size bar for how many of them. Uh, for me, I'm going to use these three plus one for the thickness of this crash bar. So I'm just going to put these on. You'll also notice the clamp has a nice sleeve covering it so it looks finished. It's not just a hose clamp hanging out there. Then it's just like any hose clamp. You just tighten it up. I'm going to go ahead and get it close and then I'm going to put the small rubber pieces in there to fit it just right. Now here's one trick you'll want to know to note. As the hose clamp tightens, that second part's going to come out. You want it to feed inside that black sleeve so that it's covered all the way around. Alright, now that we're close, I'm going to put in the last square. And this 
this system here will hold it steady and protect your bar from any scratches which is important in case you ever decide to move it you'll never be able to tell it was there to start with now before I get it too tight I want to still be able to move it and shift it to get it exactly where I want it to fit best so now I'm just going to install the big ass cup holder swallow your whole head so you're just going to unscrew this right here you're going to feed it over the ball of your clamp it just pressure fits on and then it just screws back as tight as you want to make it so you're able to adjust it the way you want. Right now I'm going to leave it kind of loose until I get my final placement. I think I'm going to lift this up. I'm going to feed this up this curve. I think for now that's a pretty good looking spot for it. I'm going to go ahead and tighten it down. But another nice thing about this mount is they also have GoPro and other devices that you can hook up to this. So if I took this cup off I could snap on a camera, turn that camera around and I could get some really unique shots going down the road which I've used their mounts for several times. They truly are just a, a versatile option that you may want to look into. That's what that cup holder looks like on the bike. Kind of give you a size comparison there. But it does, it blends in pretty well to the motorcycle. It doesn't look too out of place, it doesn't look too cumbersome, but yet I should be able to fit as big of a drink as I want. Let's see if it's gonna be in my way, my leg there though. Nope. Won't bother my leg one bit. Still be able to shift good. I should be able to reach down there and just grab my drink without issue. I do, I do like that placement of it right there. Okay, let's take a look at our cup selection. Let's start with what I think to be the thinnest of all the cups. This one is a built cup. It's not as thick as the other ones, but how's a big ass drink holder gonna hold up with a thin cup? Plenty of space up top. Bottom's tapered so it still holds the cup good and there's no metal inside so we won't be seeing any clanking or scratching of my cup. It's all rubber coated. So in that, that cup would still work and I think it would be very difficult for that to bounce out. Cup number two, Wounded Warrior Projects. Again, holds the cup good, nice and low, clean profile. Ooh, that one fits even better. It's a little thicker on the bottom and I can feel it really snug in. You can actually see it lifting up on the cup holder to pull it out so it's got a good grasp on the bottom but still plenty of room up top to go bigger let's check out this bad boy this is a full size this one is made by well I don't know whatever logo that is and this is a big cup this is about as big as a cup as I'll ever carry for the moment of truth it is dang near a perfect fit and still has a little bit of room I could even go bigger so even those big soda fountain drinks you get at the gas station I think even the biggest one this cup holder would hold it just fine it's got a good look it's made out of quality materials and frankly I find it uh, pretty versatile. I can use a smaller cup or a bigger cup thanks to this tapered end and that rubber material that kind of grabs it. So this is what it looks like from the side view. I can easily get my drink. Of course it will be non-alcoholic. Look how easy it is to put it in and out. It holds it good. You don't have to concentrate too much. You can just slide it in there and you are down the road. I like it there. I think that's where I'll keep it. This is a review of the Big Ass Drink Holder from Ciro 3D. I like it. I think it's a good thing and I love the fact that it uses their universal mount system. So I can go between my GoPros, my cell phones, my drink holders, no matter what motorcycle I'm on, it's going to work. Alright y'all, listen, this is just a quick review. For more reviews, check out the review play section of my YouTube channel. And also, you can check out some of our great adventures under Dream Rides, some of the best rides in America. Also, you can check out our adventure vlog playlist, which just keeps you up to date on all that's happening inside my life. Alright y'all, until the next video, remember, we are not quitters. If you got a drink holder and it won't fit your drink, don't quit. We found one that'll work. <laughs> we are the Americans.